Today we're going to learn about artist El Anachui from Ghana. El Anachui is a sculptor from Ghana and has worked for much of his career in Nigeria. El Anachui was born in 1944 in Anyako in the Volta region of Ghana. The youngest of his father's 32 children, Anachui lost his mother and was raised by his uncle. His first experience with art was through drawing letters on a chalkboard. He trained at the College of Art, University of Science and Technology in Kumasai in central Ghana. His artwork with sculpture and wood carving started as a hobby to keep alive the traditions he grew up with. He began teaching at the University of Nigeria in Suka in 1975. Anachui uses clay, wood, and found objects to create sculptures based on traditional Ghanaian beliefs and other subjects. More recently, he has created installation art. Some of his works resemble woven cloths, such as kente cloth, but are intended as sculptures, not textiles. Kente cloth is an indigenous Ghanaian textile made of interwoven cloth strips of silk and cotton. Kente comes from the word kenten, which means basket. It is an iconic visual representation of the history, religious beliefs, social values, and political thoughts of West Africa. El Anachui is most well known for his bottle top installations. These installations are made using thousands of aluminum pieces collected from recycling stations and sewn together with copper wire which are then transformed into metallic cloth-like wall sculptures. As well as bottle caps, he also uses found materials that range from old milk tins, railway sleepers, driftwood, iron nails, and printing plates. These metallic cloth-like sculptures are bendable and change according to how they are displayed in an art gallery. His use of recycled African materials highlights that there are some places in the world where people have to reuse materials out of need rather than as a choice. How could you use recycled materials to create an artwork of your own? In 1990, Anachui had his first important group show at the Studio Museum in Harlem, New York. In 1995, Anachui held his first solo exhibition outside of Africa in London. El Anachui was invited to the Venice Biennale in 2006 and again in 2007, where he was commissioned to make two hanging metal tapestries. The Art Biennale is an international celebration of contemporary visual art. During the 2007 edition, he exhibited his works at the Palazzo Fortuni, which used newly built walls for him to display three metal hangings entitled Dusasa. Each artwork showed different textures and colors, including gold, red, and black. Elinachui uses teams of people to help him create his artworks. They work together in his artist's studio in southeastern Nigeria. Each craftsperson creates a different unit or block of the weaving. Each of these blocks contains more than 200 bottle caps. After all the blocks are laid out, Ella Nachui then starts to decide how they can be connected together to create his final artwork. How could you work with other people to create an artwork of your own? In 2015, the Venice Biennale awarded Anachui the Golden Lion for Lifetime Achievement. In 2017, Anachui was awarded the Premium Imperial, which is an international art prize given by the Imperial Family of Japan on behalf of the Japanese Art Association. Elinachui is the first Ghanaian to win this international art prize. 
Ella Nachui is an internationally recognized and awarded artist. <laughs>